This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about um, WAC 100, or as Jay Prince would call him, Rat 100, because he says, you know, WAC 100 teams up with Takashi, who's a known rat, and goes at, you know, you know, people like 21 Savage and other people. He also says that, you know, Black 100 was involved, you know, trying to paint him. He released parts of text messages and not the full context. And Jay Prince said, I'm going to, I'm, I'm with all, I'm with all the smoke he wants. I put smoke out and uh, he calls him Rat 100. He does make a point that WAC 100's been trying to tear down people like Master P, Tupac, and Nipsey, which is true. The Meek Mill thing, I'll let I'll let WAC 100. I think WAC 1. See, that's kind of where well WAC 100 started with the Nipsey thing. When I I was not cool with that at all. Doesn't even make sense. He thought. Listen, I I'll agree with one thing. He was probably amazed at how much. Nipsey, how much attention Nipsey got when he passed because he wasn't getting that before. I'll agree with that. I've worked, with, I work with Nipsey since 2007, eight, right? We worked up until like 2013, I would say. And then, you know, we're still cool. We were still cool after that. But like, we just weren't working together the same. We, we went in different directions. You don't work with people forever. But people weren't showing this much love. To, it was weird because people weren't showing. It was the way he passed away and everything. And a lot of people discovered him. And then the fake love came, which is I'm glad it came because his family benefited from it. And they were able to, you know, look, they have a legacy now that they can keep going. Nipsey represented a lot of positive things. OK, so it's not a bad thing. All that attention came on him. But I understood the frustration. I think that's what WAC 100 was trying to say. He wasn't so big before, but like that wasn't uncalled for. He wasn't here anymore. Let it be what it is. You know, I wasn't trying to call out the fake love thing, but don't say like he didn't deserve all that and all that. You know, that was crazy to me. So I agree with Jay Prince on that, but it's a stupid argument they're having. So people were investigating this trouble thing. You know, the internet gets in and they found the girl that uh, trouble passed away over. I even saw little Duval say to girls, like, yeah, you could break up with a guy, but wait till the guy breaks up with you before you move on because you could drag another guy into your BS. I've been that person. You probably have been that person where you're out here trying to date again. This just happened to me six weeks ago, seven weeks ago. I was dating this girl. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll make it. So, so I was dating this girl. We were hitting it off for three weeks. Everything was well strong. One of her, uh, I guess her, she, she was she was engaged a year prior, but still less like entangled with this guy. Because when you get engaged with somebody, there's an entangling. Yes, there was some entangling, right? And uh, I guess one of his friends saw her out with me and then got back to him and he went to her crib and like was making a mess. She, she, she said, uh, she, she hit me up talking about it and I fell back. She fell back too because it was just too much. I know what that is. I've been in that before. I'm not getting involved. This guy hasn't let you go yet. He hasn't moved on after eight months to a year. He's got issues, man. I ain't die. I listen. We just met two weeks ago. I liked her a lot, but if you haven't done the work to separate yourself from somebody, that means you're still talking every once in a while. You still, you might still got feelings yourself. You're keeping him. You haven't. If you ice somebody, they'll get over you in eight months. You didn't ice them, so guess what? You're in a situation now, and I'm not getting dragged into it. Unfortunately. Trouble might not have even known that. And that's what happened here. Young Thug. Um, they got Young Thug in a bad position because no matter what, he's messed up. They when they did when they arrested him, they found silencers and all kinds of other types of weapons in his house. He's got a Fed case after this. Uh, 
He's got a Fed case now in state. Then he's got a Fed case nationally after that because silencers are illegal uh, nationally. So even when this is done, say he gets five years here, got another whole case. It really got him good. It's it's um, you know it's unfortunate. Um, they also got him probably like how they got Max Speed on the phone talking with somebody and somebody took somebody out connected to a murder. Unfortunately, he's cooked. They're never gonna let him out. They'll let him out in like five years, probably at max. Unfortunate situation. All tied to this wife and Lucci beef. Gotta let some things go, man. Some things ain't worth it. There's so much social media evidence that they had beef with each other. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button now. Just take care of yourselves, man. Make sure you guys are staying consistent out here. Uh, lots going on in the world. We've got inflation, gas prices, everything. Don't let that stuff get you down. Just make sure you stay, you know, be smart. Um, I got to do the same thing. You know, you got to kind of pull back on spending and stuff and only buy things that are essential. Try not to spend money on unessential things. And um, just make it happen, man. Because uh, you got to be consistent and put one foot in front of the other and not let things get you down. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just bad, bro. I let things get me down every day. We all got problems, you know. Um, you got to try to shake it off, take a shower, take a nap and reset, go work out. Got to keep resetting. I just had to snap myself out of it two hours ago. I was feeling real down. I was like, jeez, this is annoying, you know. But you know what? You just got to keep moving forward because there's always a light at, at the end of the tunnel somewhere. You just got to stick around for it. You know what I'm talking about? Appreciate you guys. Peace.